A viewer requested that we electrospin zinc oxide and PVP composite fibers. It sounds interesting. Now there's a lot of interest in nanocomposite fibers because of the potential applications in sensors, filtration, and tissue engineering to name a few. Electrospinning is a fabrication technique that is very simple but effective method of producing composite fibers. It is efficient since the use of materials is very minimal, the production cost is low. In the rest of the video, we will show the process and share the results. We had a lot of fun with the experiments, and we hope that you will find the information useful and interesting. PVP is a synthetic polymer that is amorphous and the appearance is white to light yellow. When it's dry, PVP is a light flaky powder that is odorless and is a non-toxic material. It's soluble in water and other polar solvents such as methanol and ethanol. The substance attracts and holds water from its surrounding. It can readily absorb up to 40% of water by its weight. PVP solution has good wetting properties and readily forms films. It has good characteristics and is a popular electro spinning material because of the low cost and effectiveness. Zinc oxide is an inorganic compound that appears white and the powder is insoluble in water. It's odorless and used as an additive in many products. Zinc oxide has high refractive index, high thermal conductivity, and good UV protection. These properties make it attractive for use in many applications. Let's prepare the composite solution by dispersing zinc oxide particles in PVP solution. We start off by weighing 1.2 grams of PVP. Then we add 0.3 grams of zinc oxide which is about 25% of the weight. The white flaky powder on the left side is PVP. On the right side is the zinc oxide powder. Here, we're pouring the powders into the plastic container. Next, we add 70% isopropyl alcohol and mix them together. We first added 0.6 gram of alcohol, but the solution was very lumpy. So we added more alcohol. and the total alcohol weight was equal to the powders. We mix everything together to form a viscous solution. This is one of the parameters that you would optimize to get the nanofibers with certain characteristics that would fit your applications or interest. To disperse the zinc oxide powder uniformly, we're going to use an orbital sander as a mixer. For a small sample like the one we're dealing with here, we found that an orbital sander works really well. We're using a Makita orbital sander, but any will do. This is a great solution because orbital sanders are cheap and commonly available. We place the double-sided tape on the orbital sander and are using the adhesive to help secure the cup. We mix the composite solution for about a minute.
The solution forms very interesting wave patterns during the mixing process. side-by-side -side comparison is shown here. The clear solution on the left is the PVP solution. The cup on the right contains the zinc oxide particles. Adding the powder does change the characteristics. It becomes white because the zinc oxide particles are reflecting photons in the visible spectrum. Zinc oxide is used in sunscreen so it also reflects UV light as well. Electrospinning is the method of using high voltage to produce ultra small diameter fibers. The apparatus used in the electrospinning process is shown here. The hardware consists of high voltage power supply, syringe pump, and collector assembly. In the electrospinning process, a polymer solution is held inside a syringe needle pump. A high voltage power supply is used to create a charged jet of polymer solution. When this jet travels in air, the solvent evaporates and leaves behind a charged fiber. Because of the intense electric field that exists between the needle tip and rotating collector, the fibers are electrostatically elongated and collected on the metal sheet. The electrospun fibers near the drum collector are the composite of PVP with zinc oxide fibers. This technique is pretty amazing and they look like spider webs. The applied voltage here is positive 15.4 kilovolt. The sign of the voltage drop across the liquid sample to the ground plate will determine which type of ions we're looking at. In this demonstration, Positive high voltage output is connected to the needle and the ground collector is negatively charged, meaning that positively charged ions are selected in the electrospinning process. When high voltage is applied from the needle, which is carrying a liquid flow to the ground plate, there is this characteristic formation known as a Taylor cone. That Taylor cone is then pulled into a jet. From there, the jet is further disrupted into tiny fibers. This characteristic formation is established when high voltage is balanced with the pumping rate. The general observation for the electrospinning process is that if the applied voltage is too high and the extraction field exceeds pumping rate, there are multiple spraying jets. However, if the applied electric field is too low, it leads to instability. For performance tuning, having an adjustable high voltage power supply is essential. Here are some microscope images of the composite fibers of PVP with zinc oxide. In some cases, the fibers fuse together after they tried on the collector surface. The dispersion of zinc oxide particles into PVP fibers can improve thermal stability and provide UV protection since it reduces UV and visible light transmission. In addition, it can also enhance morphological and optical properties. Here are some parameters for you to consider when tuning the electrospinning process. One. Characteristics of the polymer such as structure and molecular weight. 2. Properties of the composite solution such as viscosity, surface tension, solvent type, dielectric constant, and conductivity. 3. Nanoparticle properties and how well it disperses in solutions, as well as the type, size, morphology, concentration, and surface charge of the particles. 
4. Process parameters such as the electric potential and charge carried by the electrical spinning jet, sample flow rate, and collector motion. 5. Fabrication conditions such as temperature, humidity, and air velocity. Electrical spinning of composite fibers is very interesting. There is a lot of research interest in nanocomposite fibers because you can enhance performance and characteristics. Electrical spun fibers have an increase in surface area and by dispersing inorganic particles, you are able to modify the properties and improve the performance. This opened up the opportunity for researchers to look for new applications. Electrical spinning is a fascinating fabrication technique. With a small bench top setup like the one you've seen, you can do a lot of interesting research and development. Do you have a material you want us to electrospin? You can leave the material suggestion in the comment sections below. For more information, come visit us at sprucescience.com. Good luck and have fun! Thank you.